Hey you guys, I'm back at again with another advice video. My advice for today is taking the leap of faith. When you take the leap of faith, don't halfway take the leap of faith. So when God is telling you to take one step in this new direction, you have to align yourself with that whole step because you're trusting that God is going to provide you everything and anything that you need once you do what he asked you to do. But as you're stepping into your purpose and as you're stepping into your power, you literally have to leave everything you knew behind. <laughs> Like, let's say if you get into a healthier lifestyle. Okay, so if you get into a healthier lifestyle, then that means you're going to have to change everything. I'm not saying you got to change everything all in one, but I am saying that, okay, well, you're not going to eat fast food. You could take that step to saying, okay, I'm not going to eat fast food. I'll start meal prepping at home and <laughs> I just won't eat out no more and I won't eat no fast food and I'll just start meal prepping. Okay, cool. That's the step that you're taking to change your life and to make a healthier choice. Okay, if you say you're going to start working out, okay. So that means I'm going to set a schedule for in the morning or at night that I'm going to consistently work out in and I'm not going to skip that. I don't care if my friends ask me to do this. I don't care if I have to do this with my mom. I don't care if my job says da 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 I don't care. I have to go work out and then after I go work out, then I'll do what I need to do. If you say okay so it's like this too if god is telling you to quit your job okay cool god is telling you to quit your job but as you're quitting your job to start something new or to align yourself that means he's most likely telling you that he wants you to start over he doesn't want you to be doing the hanging out with the same people that you used to he doesn't want you to be regretting the choices that you made he doesn't want you to even look for new jobs he wants you to sit still and make you understand okay what is it that you want to do and that means that you need to be reading you need to be <clears throat> what is it doing higher knowledge higher learning that means you need to be working out that means you need to be eating healthier that means you need to be getting in alignment to understand what is it that he needs me to do what message is he trying to tell me even with the spirituality like when you're getting into spirituality the thing that helps the most is when you start exercising is once you start eating healthier is once you start watching stuff that's going to encourage you to be more abundant to be more wealthy to understand that you're worthy of everything and anything that you need and it's also getting in alignment with webinars getting in alignment with seminars getting in alignment with certain people or being out there you know just going to starbucks <laughs> and just getting you something or just living the life that you know you deserve even though your bank account might not say it but your energy and your mindset says it you know and it shows it because of the way that you're acting and because of the way that you're just moving and you trust the Lord so much because of that faith. So what I'm saying with this leap of faith is, I know I'm everywhere with it, <laughs> but it's just like, if God is telling you to take a leap, then you need to align yourself with that leap. You can't halfway align yourself with that leap. So like, if you, if God is telling you to eat a healthier lifestyle, you can't all of a sudden be like, okay, well, I'm gonna eat healthy for two days out of a seven day week. No, you need to, okay, well, I'm not going to eat fast food, but I'll meal prep at home and I'll do that to get into alignment. And then if I need to detox and I'll ask God how I need to detox, I might do a water detox for a day or two, or I might do a juice detox for a day or two or a week or two, and then do meal prep or then just eat healthier or then just get vegetarian or then just become vegan. It's just like really getting in alignment with what he says do. Because a lot of the times we'll take the leap and then we'll really half-ass it. We'll do it for like a week or we'll do it for two days and we'll be like, I don't see results. What's going on? And then we'll stop. No, take the leap and have faith that this is getting you somewhere. This is going to make you be something. This is actually getting you to where you need to go. But as you take that leap, take that leap fully <laughs> you know just like if you want to be an author and god is telling you to be an author okay well if you don't want to quit your job just to be an author then you need to be having time like an hour or 15 minutes or even 30 minutes throughout every day where you can just write <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're writing it doesn't matter how you're getting it done just 30 30 minutes to an hour to just write whatever you need to write and thoughts will come ideals will come because you're aligning yourself with your journey you're aligning yourself with your dream you're aligning yourself with what you want to do 
just like if you want to be like a fitness coach okay then you either gonna buy the right books or you're gonna watch youtube to understand the muscles of, you know muscles to understand the body and then you're also gonna go to a gym or at least talk to a personal trainer or at least do your own gym at home or you're just gonna work out outside you know it's just so many ways that we can take a leap and we can really truly go for it but sometimes we take a leap and we halfway do it <laughs> we don't do it to the full extent of what god is telling us to do we do it for two days for the full extent and then later on we be like mm, i don't know we let fear come in because we want to control the situation of how everything is supposed to go and everything is supposed to coincide no if you're going to take a leap take a leap <laughs> but take that leap fully into your new journey into your new destiny don't be hanging around the same people don't be eating the same food don't be watching the same thing a lot of times he's telling you to cut back on tv then cut back on tv cut back on tv and start watching stuff like podcasts start watching stuff that's informational start watching stuff that's gonna get you to where you need to go if you want money then read books on wealth understand what wealth is understand manifestation so if you're gonna take a leap take a leap fully don't half do it everything is in alignment with where you're going you know what you have to do to get in alignment with yourself and to get in alignment with him so i'm just saying do it fully don't do it halfly because <laughs> a lot of the times we do it halfly and we expect god to come down through his throne and just make it just happen right then and there because we want it and it's just like no you gotta work for it you really gotta work for it before it comes to you but that's all I wanted to say. Listen, I have faith in you just as much as I have faith in myself. And I have my faith in myself fully. So I have faith in you fully. And you can do this. You can do this. Because if I can do this, you can do this. Period. <laughs>